Aloha friends, let's talk about summer weight gain. It's happened to all of us. So let's look at why that actually happens. Number one, not enough sleep. I'm going to bed, it's still light out. I wake up and it's light out. So that can be hard for some of you if you have experienced FOMO, fear of missing out. But one, keep a schedule. Getting eight hours of sleep is very important to blood sugar balance. Yep, they studied, they did a lot of studies on people where they limited their sleep. They actually did that on army rangers. They limited their sleep to only, I think, five or six hours a night. And after a week, they started to resemble a type two diabetic. Their blood sugars were not good. This is gonna cause excessive hunger. This can cause poor moods. This can cause cravings. Um, but it will make weight loss very difficult and often cause weight gain. If you're, you know, staying up really late at night, every night of the week and getting up early for work or whatever it is. I mean, this is the time for parties and weddings and, you know, music is during the summer at night in the city and yeah, I want to stay up, but I also want to feel good and be happy all the time. And for me, I just know that sleep is very important. I actually get more than eight hours of sleep. It's just, I'm a better person. I'm a better mother. I'm a better friend if I get sleep. So number one is get your sleep. And if you can't stay asleep, it could be a couple things causing this. So I would suggest getting a good quality magnesium, not magnesium citrate or oxide. That's just going to cause stomach issues. Um, I like magnesium glycinate. You can find it in the link below. Um, but if you can fall asleep, but you can't stay asleep, that's often low progesterone in women. And there's a few natural supplements that you can try. It helped me when I had PCOS and it helps me today. Um, so those links will be also below. Um, if you can't fall asleep, it's usually low melatonin. And that's why I wear my blue blocking glasses starting at about 5 p.m. They're really stylish now. Um, I really like the blue blocks. They just changed their name. So I'll have those linked below. My kids wear them. Um, they're nice and gentle on the eyes. I also have blackout blinds in my room and a chili pad. <laughs> if you don't want to buy a chili pad, I totally get it. But keep your room cool, as cool as it can be. So keeping it dark, keeping it cool. I actually do some cold therapy outside. Um, doesn't have to cost anything to do that. I just jump into a bathtub with a bunch of ice and ice cold water. And I do that um, earlier in the evening so I'm not freezing at bedtime, but getting cold really helps with sleep. And I'll have those tips below. Like I mentioned earlier, it is the season for weddings and barbecues and parties. And maybe you still eat keto at those parties and weddings, but you're just eating a lot more often Hate to tell it to you people, calories matter, it's physics. I'm not saying that calories are everything, but to say that they're nothing is ignorance. Um, so just be aware. And I don't count on weddings or parties or barbecues to offer food that I will eat. So we usually have a dinner before we go and enjoy the company. I'm going to the party to socialize. Too often I talk to clients and like, I don't even know what I ate, Maria. I was just stuffing food in my face and then talking to people. And I don't want to do that. I want to go and visit. And I also want to eat delicious food that makes me feel awesome. So don't be peer pressured into having the alcohol, having the wine, having the, you know, the cake or whatever. Be strong. And it often takes 20 minutes to signal that you're full. You're usually like still eating um, because you're talking and not paying attention to what you're eating. So just be aware that oftentimes we overeat at parties or we're not eating food that's good for you. So another huge tip when you are going to like a barbecue or something and you're filling up on the plates or even at work, like you have potlucks, limit your options on your plate. Why? Because it's very easy, like your, your mind and your taste buds get bored of one flavor. So the more flavors you have on your plate, you just keep rotating and you're overeating because your body's full, but you're, you're, all the different flavors keep registering signals in your brain to keep trying different things. So really limiting how many options you have on your plate is very important. Mentally prepare for the times when you're gonna be offered foods that you really love and might cause you to overeat or even just want them, even though you're trying to eat healthy. 
um, really mentally prepare. Maybe tell your friend or your spouse, don't let me eat the cake. Please don't, you know, encourage me not to eat it because there's gonna be peer pressure people. I still get it and I haven't had it in 25 years. I get it all the time and my family, my parents are one of them. So just make sure to be mentally prepared. If you're going to a restaurant with friends, look at the menu, mentally prepare. You're not gonna order the French fries. You're gonna get X, Y, and Z. Being mentally aware and ready will help you be ready and have success. Vacations. Summer vacations are another time that people go flying off the handle, eat whatever they want. Oh, I'm going to Italy. I'm going to have pasta and limoncello, whatever. I have gone to Italy. I just got back from Paris and we ate really good food. You should check out that video. I don't feel deprived at all, but I was mentally ready. I've been mentally ready for decades. I feel so amazing. It's not worth the gelato or the baguette or whatever. Just be ready. So, and tell your family, I do not want to, you know, eat the donuts or whatever. We're going to have a different type of breakfast or make my donuts, make my healthy donuts. And, uh, you know, I often, when we travel, I'll get a place that has its own kitchen. Um, not only is that going to save you money because you can get, I mean, my gosh, eggs breakfast was like, you know, 30 bucks a person and you can buy a dozen eggs for $5. So having a room is really. So if it looks like I've been moving spots, I have. We have a very long driveway, really, really long. It's like, I don't know, half a mile. And <laughs> Kai, Kai's bringing the garbage in, the garbage bins, and it's really loud. So I'm just trying to find a spot that's quiet. I could go in the backyard, but it's really hot and really sunny, which is great. But I'm just trying to find a place to chill out in a chilly area. <laughs> what? Okay, so another big trigger, and it would have been for me in the past, are summer treats. Summer was a big time for my mom to have certain treats in the house. And even though my mom didn't eat sugar, when the treats were in the house, she loved a Snickers ice cream bar. And I still would love one of those. So if that's going to tempt you, don't have it in the house. Nobody needs that stuff. Hey, I have a great healthified ice cream Snickers. I need to make one of those. It's been like many, many years since I've done that. So. Don't keep things in the house that are gonna trigger you to reach towards it. And if you really want one, it's worth making a healthified version. And I don't know if this is step number five or what number we're on. We talked about sleep, we talked about barbecues, parties, weddings, vacations, that type of stuff. But another big tip is lack of routine and weekend eating. I suffered from this for a long time, especially in college. I'd be really, really good during the week, and then Friday night would hit, and I'd start with the alcohol, and that would cause me to eat the french fries and you know, the donuts or whatever, and then on Monday, I would wake up and not like myself. So what I did was I started journaling. I know that sounds really cheesy, but even like mentally telling yourself, I do not like the way I feel for days after I do that, so why? Am I doing that for a few moments? If you think about this, food is in your mouth for what, 15 minutes? For 15 minutes of pleasure in your mouth, you feel awful for days, maybe years, because you're just not happy with yourself. No food is worth that. And there's so many good recipes. Hey man, I just had some ice cream. It was my ice cream with no sugar in it. I feel great after having it. And you can do that too. And my last tip, tip number six maybe, is alcohol. Alcohol does a lot of different things. Believe me, I used to drink way too much. Uh, yes, I did. I would drink way so, yeah, I won't even talk about some of the stories, but um, alcohol, obviously you're gonna make worse food choices. Um, it's also going to decrease your metabolism um, because the reason is, is because of oxidative priority, which I have videos on. When alcohol enters your system, it has to burn that first because it's completely toxic and there's no storage site where fat, carbohydrates, and protein, that's not toxic to you. So it's gonna hold on to that stuff while it's you know prioritizing the uh, alcohol. Alcohol also reduces um, your testosterone for up to 24 hours. Women, we don't want that either. And it increases estrogen by 300%. So men with big beer bellies, it's not a beer belly, it's an estrogen belly. Just like the women that don't wanna have it, you don't wanna have that either. 
So, and also if you're working out in the summer, you want testosterone to build those muscles. If you work out Friday morning really hard, lift some weights, and then you go out Friday night to get your drink on, you wake up Saturday with less muscle because your muscles, um, they repair as you rest. They build as you rest because when you're working out, you actually are breaking them down. So alcohol is just defeating all that hard work. Alcohol is obviously very hard on the liver. We know this. And your liver is controlling your thyroid hormone. It's controlling your mood. So, you know, alcohol, I don't know. I just feel like a way better person uh, without it. And that whole thing where it increases estrogen by 300%, that causes low progesterone. Women, this is why if you have a glass of wine, you wake up, you can fall asleep, but then you wake up at like 2 a.m. like, bing, totally awake. Alcohol is going to do that to you too. So those are a few of my tips. And yeah, I mean, even though you're probably really much more active in the summertime, summer weight gain is a real thing. So just be aware, make those steps to keep being that happy, healthy person that you want to be, and you will get there. Believe me, I am 100% different than I was 25 years ago, and I never want to go back. I feel like I'm eating the best food in the world. I feel like I'm cheating, and I also feel great. So you can too. And you know what I'm doing right now? I'm walking back to the house because I'm gonna make my protein sparing Wendy's Frosty. It's only 60 calories, it's very, very hot outside, nice and cold, super delicious, even my kids like it. So if you miss a Wendy's Frosty, people, instead of going to the drive-thru, get your blender out. It's super easy, it's way cheaper, and it's actually way faster than going to the drive-thru anyway, and you won't be tempted to get french fries, okay? And if you want french fries, try my protein sparing french fries. They're delicious. My kid takes out a whole plate and I don't care because it's all protein. So you can do it my friends. Mahalo. If you want to change your life like I've changed mine with food, I would be honored to help you. Many of you don't know that I was twice my size. I had acid reflux. I had PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. I had depression, I had IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome, and food changed my life. And not only did that happen, I get to eat good food, right? Good food. So if you want to eat good food, have perfected meal plans made by me, and personal help with supplements or modifications, if you have Hashimoto's, if you have uh, Graves, if you have IBS, if you have PCOS, contact me. I would be honored to help you. Um, you can go to keto-adapted.com and find a lot of different options there for personalized help or message me uh, by commenting below on this YouTube video or you can check me out at mariamindbodyhealth.com. Mahalo!